uh, Usha Kumari Didi, uh, as we all know, she's a very active volunteer of uh, uh, the Southwestern region. She's currently a Dean uh, of Corporate Relations, Mar Baselius College of Engineering and Technology, Thiruvan Dabiram. She retired from service, uh, the government service as uh, a professor from College of Engineering, Thiruvan Dabiram. And she attended the first introductory workshop in June 2020. And she has been attending several other workshops later. She uh, shares the content uh, in the institution where she is at the dean right now to different groups. And she's part of the newsletter editing. Now, Madhilal Vijay is, uh, is her husband. He also has retired from uh, as a project director from the Cooperative Academy of Professional Education, Tiruvannathuram. He attended the first introductory workshop of USB in April 2021, and he is also part of this new celebrity. So, with this brief introduction, I welcome Vishakumari Didi and Madhal Paya for their sharing in the morning session. Now, Thank over you. to you. Thank you. Good morning, Sharmala Didi. Good morning, Sunil Paya. Namaste. Namaste to all, all explorers. I am uh, Dr. H. Usha Kumari, retired from Government Engineering College to Vandra, as Professor and Head of the Department of Electrical Engineering in May 2019. And now I am working as Professor and Dean of Corporate Relations at Mar Baselius College of Engineering to Vandra, Kerala. Actually, I started my journey in USB in the year. 2020. And my journey, I attended the introductory FDP multiple times for getting clarity about the different proposals in USB. Also, refresher part one, refresher part two, USB two, two times, all under meetings convened at various places. And this is the seventh time I am sharing my experience in the morning session. My aspiration in life is to have happiness and prosperity, to be in continuous, and this aspect is clear now. I have been improving my, my own competence over the days and helping others to improve their competence also. My state before attending the UHV program, there was no clarity about the purpose of my life, my aspiration, and I was having no control over my imaginations. I was, I was not able to see the imagination going on in my own self because I was not aware of that. In most of the time, I was influenced by the behavior of the other person. Events happened outside and I was also concerned about my body. Due to this, my happiness was depending on outside factors and I was seeking happiness from outside. Also, there was no clarity about the need of the self and need of the body. Previously, I was doubting the intention of the other person and finding fault in others also. There were a lot of conflicts and friction with the family members, extended family members and colleagues during that time. I experienced sometimes happiness, sometimes unhappiness, excitement, depression, etc. Now I understand that the major issue was the instant reaction and the ego within me. Okay, that's a background about before attending the USD program. Then takeaways from exercise one and two and other USD programs that I have attended. Exercise one. From exercise one, I understand that for achieving basic human aspiration and for ensuring continuous happiness, I need to develop three things. Right understanding in the self, right feeling and right thought in the self, and develop the competence for living in the self with the world outside. I can see that the self by the self to be aware. I have to observe my imagination at every moment. 
without any reaction. This step, now I am able to observe the imagination within me most of the time. Previously, it was very difficult to observe the feelings going on in my own self. Now, I am able to check my feeling whether it is in align with the natural acceptance or not. Which is in align with the natural acceptance leading to happiness in me. If it is not in line with the natural acceptance, I will drop that feeling at the same instant after analyzing it. Clearly seen that. And now I am deciding the feeling in me. I know that I am 100% responsible for my feeling within the other person or situation outside may act as a trigger only. Previously, I thought that the other human being or situations outside is responsible for my unhappiness. I had complaints against them, doubt on intention of others, and I wanted, I am trying to, uh, was trying to change the other person. I, and I was expressing my observations based on my feelings. Now I am able to understand the intention and competence part clearly. That is trust part. Previously, a lot of issues were there between me and the family members. What is the basis on which I decide my feeling and thought? If it is based on right understanding, then it is in line with the natural acceptance. If it is based on assumption or preconditioning, then there is contradiction opposition, anger, or irritation. Which feelings are naturally acceptable? I can clearly see that feeling of relationship, harmony, and coexistence are naturally acceptable. But on the other hand, opposition, disharmony, struggle, conflict are not naturally acceptable. Observing the feeling of relationship, harmony, and coexistence in most of the time, I am able to observe my feelings in me. I have still to improve my co competence level by reducing the reaction level and not finding fault in others. Before attending the morning exercise, there were a lot of conflicts within the family. After attending the FTP exercises, I have changed a lot. I started observing each and every moment without reaction. Due to this, I was able to see the changes in other, others also. I understand that the major issue was the instant reaction and the ego. Initially, it was very difficult to maintain relationship. Slowly, it has changed. Even though the other person is reacting, I only respond. Because I know that there is some disturbance or opposition in the other person. That's why... The other person is reacting. Now it is old. I am happy and calm now. I understand that I am the deciding person and what type of feeling I need. Feeling of relationship or feeling of opposition, anger, conflict or contradiction. Now the environment is entirely different. In a split second, I can change my feeling in my own self. Now there is no suffering or sacrifice or adjustment with my spouse and children, but only feeling of relationship with them. I am also able to understand the other person is similar to me with the same purpose, program and potential, but the difference is only at the level of competence. There is complementarity at the level of competence. Then I make a program for improving competence of uh, both of them without disturbing the behavior of the other person. And it is done unconditionally. That is a big shift in my life. Now most of the time, I am a listener. I feel calm and think that life is light. And improving my self-confidence also. I am doing most of the household jobs in my home without any com compliance with the support of my husband. He is very caring and loving also. He is also attending the morning session in between. I have seen remarkable changes in him also. 
his reaction level is decreased a lot as well as ego is also reduced we both of us are exploring together so it is very easy to maintain harmony in our family that's about exercise one exercise two observing the body and interaction between self and body by the self here i am able to observe that the self and body and they are two distinct realities and the transaction between self and body are in the form of information only the decisions regarding the exchange of information between me and the body are entirely by the self and to interact with the body as and when required here i use the body as an instrument of the self only clearly see that and observing the distance between self and body i know that i am not the sensation i am not in the sensation and there is a distance between self and body then associating meaning to the sensation that is external events like uh, behavior of other human being physiochemical things or effect on my body here there are two ways we can read the information from the body based on knowing it is based on right understanding and right feeling or just assuming here also the decision maker is only me and the body acts according to my instruction then i react when my samskar is based on assumption i respond when my samskar is based on knowing here i have to work more and more to purify my current samskar sometimes i am influenced and space part i am in space but this step i i am not able to see the space completely i know that there is the self is in space similarly body is also in space information is passing through the space i am in coexistence in space uh the space is not having any activity and all the units are submerged in space it is not energized all units in space are having activity energized and self organized also this part i have to explore more now i feel that all the events are happening in the nature due to the presence of space i know my destination clearly i need complete freedom from all the units in space but i am related to all and i am responsible towards all i have to work more and more to reach the destination i believe that it is my responsibility to maintain harmony within me and also i have to improve my competence and helps to improve the competence in others unconditionally and without disturbing the behavior of the other person i am continuously improving my consciousness level or removing a darkness from my own self or removing the ego from my own self my source of happiness is in it and within me without depending on outside matters as far as happiness is concerned self is more important than body and now i am clear that i am not seeking fair, favorable effect or feelings or sensation from outside or seeking happiness from outside my program is that most of the time i am focusing on my own self and i am deciding my activities based on knowing right understanding and not based on assuming now i am able to refer my innate faculty and my natural acceptance then next point is commitment for contribution towards developing a humane society uh, i am sharing usv with the faculty students and supporting staff of our institution and sharing with family members extended family members 
alumni working in different parts of the country through online, a group of trade professors and engineers. And I have been sharing this content to public with a different background also. Based on that, more number of groups are coming forward for participating in the sharing. After understanding the importance of it, and uh, I am concentrating on regional level and corporate section also because I am in the post of Dean and Corporate Relations. So there are so many opportunities to meet public in the institution. And we have conducted a two days workshop for a multinational company in January 2024. From the feedback of the participants, it is informed that there are significant changes in their real life also. I feel that the value education is very important as far as human being is concerned. In our campus, there are 18 educational institutions, including schools, colleges. It is proposed to conduct a two-day workshop on USP for the faculty of schools, arts and science college, law college, etc. I think that we can slowly share the content to the faculty and students of each institution separately. In 2023, we have conducted the SIP program in our institution in a very good manner for all the 11 batches separately. And I felt it was very effective. I have started sharing the content of UHV to the students and faculty of College of Engineering Rwanda, which is the sort, most sought after engineering college of Kerala from where I retired. I am also able to maintain my health condition through lifestyle correction and exercise regularly and it is maintaining that is that's also able to maintain and uh, i devote more than two hours a day for developing right understanding right feeling and right thought in my own self whenever i will get time i am exploring within my own i am observing now i am observing each and every unit in nature also keenly its characteristics different colors shapes of flowers leaves etc. And I feel that it is due to the presence of space. And the nature is so beautiful. We have a beautiful garden and uh, very happy to maintain that by observing the different colors of flowers, petals, leaves, etc. In addition to that, we are cultivating necessary vegetables in the terrace in and around our house. We together doing all the activities in our garden and small farm and it is very happy to spend time in the garden also. Our friends and relatives are also visiting us in between. Some of the students of our college approached me to share their personal matters and being discussed with them. Some of them are taking medicine for depression also. I find time for interacting with them based on my availability and suggesting how to recover through USV. It is seen that there is no one in their family or teachers or friends to share their personal issues. Through continuous interaction and listening to them carefully, they will open up and slowly come out of their issues. Already, we have introduced USV2 for the second year UG students and PG students also. One batch PG students completed their USV2 program and we can see the changes in them also. Actually, MBCT is a good platform for practicing and validating the proposals in USV. From the inter interaction with the students, I feel that if they are having clarity about the purpose of their life, they will be living with happiness and prosperity and fulfilling their basic aspirations. The senior students have offered their willingness to share their experiences in their life after attending the USV sessions to junior students and school students with the support of faculty members. 
and another important point we are planning to select 10 interested students as student mentors for sharing their experiences in other sessions and for the coming first year first year students also another important incident happened in my life that my elder brother passed away in february due to heart attack during that time with the help of USP only, I was able to maintain a stable condition in my life, myself, and helping others, including my parents, because of the clarity about the proposals of self and body of a human. In the last three months, sorry, I have attended three workshops on Team-Centered Interaction, PCA, which is based on living learning, introduced in Germany by the humanistic psychologist Ruth Kohn. I have seen that there are similarity, some similarities between TCA axioms, postulates, and the proposals mentioned in Human Values. I express my sincere gratitude to all the mentors and co-explorers no. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you, Bhaiya. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Shagumar Giri, for your nice, exemplified, and detailed sharing. Your uh, commitments and are very much commendable. A lot of activities are happening with you, with your intervention in the MBCET, in your college, and uh, in the College of Engineering, Tirundhuram, as well as in the public of uh, Tirundhuram, the city. Very nice to listen to that. And how you have overcome your life uh, situations also is very uh, worth uh, mentioning here. Uh, very nice sharing, Didi. Uh, Didi, I have a question. Like you mentioned that you were able to drop the feelings that were not naturally acceptable. Yes. So was there any kind of struggle before that? Before, uh, during the initial period, uh, there are a lot of issues that is not possible to drop the feeling immediately. Actually, this is the seventh, eighth time I am attending the morning session. Yeah, Maybe yeah. I, I... Through practice only, we are able to analyze and drop the feeling. I think so. Really. so okay, okay. So now I... you are able to just observe and drop the feelings which are not naturally yeah. accepted. Yeah, I, because the reality in the way it is, that's okay. right. I am Manilal, residing in Tiruvanduram, along with my wife, Dr. Krusha Kumari. We have two daughters. The elder one, Swadi, is a senior manager of Texas Instruments, Bangalore. She is working and settled there for last 10 years. Her husband, Abhishek, is a senior manager at HAL Bangalore. We have a grandson, Achit, having four years old. Our younger daughter, Shweta, is doing her PhD in Applied Mathematics in the area of Epidemiology at Warwick University, UK, since 2019. I retired from Government of Kerala Service as an executive engineer in May 2015. Since then, I have been a working as the project director of the Cooperative Academy of Professional Education, Kerala, which is working under the Cooperative Department of Government of Kerala. And our organization runs a 14 educational institutions, of which nine are self-financing engineering colleges. There is one nursing college, one MBA college, one hospital, and other two institutions. I am also assigned as a technical consultant in the Kerala Bank, Kerala Housing Federation, Cooperative Staff Training College, etc. Me and my wife are also associated with the palliative care activities through Palliative India as its volunteers since 19, 2016. My journey in USV. My wife, Dr. Usha Kumari, has been practicing USB since June 2020 and getting inspired by her, I have decided to attend the USB one, the five-day 
ഓൺലൈൻ വർക്ക്ഷോപ്പ് ഇൻ ഏപ്രിൽ ട്വന്റി ട്വന്റി വൺ ഐ അറ്റൻഡ് യു എസ് ബി ടു ഫേസ് ടു ഫേസ് വർക്ക്ഷോപ്പ് കണ്ടക്ടഡ് അറ്റ് എം ബി സി ടി ട്രിവാൻഡ്രം ഇൻ സെപ്റ്റംബർ ട്വന്റി ട്വന്റി ടു അഗെയിൻ ഐ ഹാവ് ബീൻ അറ്റൻഡിങ് ദി മോർണിംഗ് സെഷൻസ് സിൻസ് നവംബർ ട്വന്റി ട്വന്റി ടു ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് ഹെൽപ്പിംഗ് മീ ടു ഇംപ്രൂവ് മൈ കോമ്പിറ്റൻസ് ആൻഡ് ഗെറ്റ് മോർ ക്ലാരിറ്റി അബൌട്ട് ദി പ്രപ്പോസൽസ് ഇൻ യു എസ് ബി occasionally i attended the usb sharing programs conducted by my wife for various groups and share my experience there i have participated in the world meeting of usb kerala chapter convened at kochi in october 2023 in which kumar bhaiya handled a session for the world days my stayed before attending the usb program i had no clarity about my aspiration my reaction level was very high and i had no control over my imagination most of the time i was influenced by the behavior of the other person and the other external factors i was concerned about my body due to this my happiness was was depending on outside factors and i was seeking happiness from outside there was no clarity about the needs of the self and the body and no clarity about the reaction and the response there were conflicts and friction with family members and colleagues previously happiness was not continuous the major issue was my instant reaction and my ego this is the fourth day i am attending the morning session and the sharing in by in the third day i am continuing the process of self exploration as my wife and me are attending the sessions simultaneously it is easy for us to practice and implement its essence in our daily life this has brought harmony in our life and able to maintain harmony with colleagues and others by improving the right understanding and right feeling in myself i understand that the body is used as an instrument of the self i have more clarity about the needs of the self and the body my current sanskar is far better than the previous one i can observe the importance of each unit in nature <coughs> i can see the four orders in nature with its natural characteristics and coexistence among the four orders <coughs> i can see that there is harmony in all orders except the human order we have a beautiful garden and we are growing vegetables for the last 20 years or so we two are taking care of the garden and uh, finding it happen happy to maintain it. we love plants and nature i can see that existence is coexistence i feel that i exist in the nature because of the presence of the space i am improving my conduct through self exploration my current sanskar is far better than the previous one or i can say that the influence of preconditioning and sensation is reduced i am so slowly changing from animal consciousness level to human consciousness and uh, you take away from exercise 1 and 2 from exercise 1 i understand that to achieve basic human aspirations and ensure a continuous happiness i need to develop right understanding in the self right feeling and right thought in the self develop competence for life right living in the self with the world outside seeing the self by the self i understand that to achieve the above i have to observe 
my imagination at every moment i am aware that i have a lot to improve though there is considerable change now i evaluate my feeling and whether it is in line with the natural acceptance leading to happiness i feel that my reaction level has decreased considerably i am sure that my level of stress has been reduced i know i am 100% responsible for the feeling in my own self with the right understanding and right feeling i am able to maintain good relationship with my family members colleagues and subordinates i can observe the feeling of relationship harmony and coexistence i am aware that i have to improve a lot from exercise to observing the body and the interaction between self and body by the self thus i am able to observe that the self and the body are two ex distinct realities and the communication between self and body is in the form of information the exchange of information between the self and the body are generally done by the self with the with the right understanding i am able to maintain my health through self regulation i used the body as an instrument observing the distance between the self and the body i can see that i am not in the sensation i am not the sensation and there is distance between the self and the body during most of the time i am able to maintain harmony in my own self with the right understanding and the right feeling i know that i have to work more to achieve my aspiration regarding the com- uh, commitments i am sharing the essence of human values with my colleagues and subordinates and encourage them to attend the program i used to attend the sessions sessions and my by wife at various places to various groups and we are sharing the sessions as a service to the society as i always say i am contributing a little in the, in editing the newsletter of usv that's all thank you all thank you yeah thank you uh, onidal ji for this exemplify sharing so the yeah. commitment uh, from you and rishi kumar didi that is uh, very much appreciated by uh, all of us in the usv family that is an example and a model to all of us also so we thank you for your uh, contributions and further uh, continuing journey in the usv realm thank you so much <laughs> very nice sharing uh, manilal ji there is a small uh, question in my mind it is uh, how you can both come into this stream because i have heard uh, both the sharings it is complementary to each other so please explain for we all so that we also can be in the same line thank you and uh, i have noticed uh, a lot of changes in her after attending the course in the first time and that's why i have decided to follow this way the usb program and surely it was an inspiration for me ji yeah. so initially didi started or you started means she getting inspiration uh she only started and uh, she has joined the program from april 2020 and Gee. i have joined in april 2021 for one year around one year initially there was lot of conflict 
for attending this G- program. GPT, that I actually I wanted the correct answer. <laughs> Thank you. Actually, I have, I have been spending so much time with the mobile for attending the attending the different sessions, morning meetings, so many things. There are G- there were there were a lot of conflict during the initial period. After one year only, he was started. G G G. So we also are experiencing myself particularly. <laughs> she is also, but it will take time. Thank you, Didi. All the best to you all both. Thank you. We all are. You Thank can you, say benefited. Thank you. Thank you. So namaste again, Usha ji and Manila ji. Namaste. As always, namaste. As always, it is a pleasure to listen to both of you. Um. I think, um, you know, Ushaji has mentioned a little bit about uh, how it was in the beginning and uh, what the condition is now. I think um, it will also be very useful if you could uh, relate, you know, the growth that is happening from one... um, morning session to the next. Like for instance, between last session and now, could you experience something different or anything new that you were able to see? I think that will also be very useful. Yes. Uh, uh, Yeah, Didi, actually from the last, for the last four months, um, I feel that a reaction level uh, no, no reaction, I think so. Even the other person shout or react or say something. I, I am able to accept the other person as such. That is one change, major change for the last four months. Then, and that incident happened in my uh, my family. That's also, uh, I'm able to withstand the situation. That's a major shift. Then I'm I'm able to sit a long long time also during traveling etc. That is another experience, and observing the nature keenly, uh, each and every plant, color of, and space also something like that. In between, I'm experiencing that also. That's uh, I think these are the differences for the last four months. Anyway, it's slowly improving. The competence mm-hmm. on that day. Mm-hmm. Okay. Thanks. Um. Uh, you know, in the maybe in the next round of sharings, you can also uh, prepare. You know, you may have noticed certain incidents, certain yeah. happenings, because a lot yeah. of times people who are listening to the sharing, they will be able to connect to the incidents that have happened in our life. And they can relate to them very easily. Yeah. yeah. So it brings forward, you know, how they can also uh, see the connection in their life. That mm. yes, they also may be in similar situations. And then how you were able to overcome it. Like now yeah. you mentioned yeah. about the death of your brother or, you know, yeah. some other incident. Somebody at uh, work says something which may be. Yeah. Earlier, we may have reacted to that, those kind of statements, and now, what uh, we are able to not only do, but how we process that within yeah. us, yeah. So yeah. some of those uh, things may be very helpful for others who are starting their journey fresh. Yeah. Uh, this was something I was thinking. Um. It's very commendable that you are able to, you know, you have that unique opportunity in a, a being in an educational kind of an institution where you have, you are in yeah. touch with various colleges of, you know, different uh, um, subjects and uh, different institutions in that main, uh, you know, uh, in the place yeah. where you are in proximity yes, to so many others yeah. and also with the corporate world. So mm. this is something quite unique 
fantastic, I think. And the fact that you are able to connect to both sides mm. makes it something uh, that is, uh, raises a lot of possibilities. Yeah. So in your institution, I know that you, know, you have uh, retired from active work like that, but as a consultant or as you know in whatever capacity you are functioning even now i think a lot of possibilities are there because perhaps you know even at work people may be able to see the changes in you at your you know among your colleagues among others and you have uh, established a place for yourself as you know being perhaps somebody who can communicate such things to others in the corporate world. And you said that the response is also very good. You can also think about promoting such activities in the you know, surrounding uh, institutions, the different colleges, so that the whole place can become uh, you know, a center, like a nodal center, which can help so many others. So yeah, those maybe. are all some of the possibilities that I was thinking that, you know, you could be instrumental in now that you have sufficient time, your life, you know, it looks like things are sorted out. Uh, children are on their own. You both have a lot of time. You both are exploring together. So that makes yeah. it, uh, you know, something of a... a a larger possibility also you can explore, I was thinking. Um, yeah, definitely. Something going forward, I was thinking about that. Yeah. And um, yeah. Uh, Mani Lalji, for you also, I think uh, this is something yes, that is a very wonderful thing that both of you are exploring together. Um, and uh, you mentioned you know, the changes I think uh, Prashanji must have got the answer to the question. So it is not about trying to involve the other, but rather working on ourselves. And when we change, the other naturally wants to find out what it is and you know uh, come forward for experiencing those changes themselves. So something in our behavior, when it uh, you know is able to be shown to the other or the other is able to see these changes in our behavior, yeah. then they feel inclined to also um, want to do that. So uh, the focus should shift from trying to forcefully involve the other to working on ourselves wow. and being that change that we are looking to see in the other. I think that uh, came across very clearly from what you were describing. And I think it is uh, very wonderful that, you know, um, you said that you even went to many of the discourses that your wife was doing and you were able to do your sharing there, which is, I think, a very liberal way of looking at things. Many people may not feel open to that or they may feel a little bit small, you know, sometimes when one of the spouses is... Uh, the one who is doing the sharing. So I think all of that uh, shows your openness also to receive um, information from wherever it may come and use it for your own betterment and self-development. So that is something very positive. So uh, yeah, for both of you, I think, yes, both of you, I think, make a will make a, very good team. You already are a good team by yourself, but I think if you involve others from your own institutions and nearing nearby institutions, you could make a, a very effective larger team also as part of your participation. That is one thing that I was thinking. So all the best to you, both of you, for Thank you. Uh, this nice Thank sharing. You, Thank you, Didi. Thank you so much. Mentioned, uh, you mentioned about space. So something that seemed to come across is that our existence is because of space or due to space. 
uh, what is being said is that, uh, you know, there is existence is in this manner, but not like a, an effect of something or, you know, that being in space, mm -hmm. units are self-energized. When we say that, it has a meaning little different from because of space, we okay. are self and we are energized. Okay, yeah. okay. This was something that I just... Mm -hmm. uh, okay, thank from. you. So, wanted to point that out. Of okay. course, there is room, Ushaji, for further exploration, like you mentioned, you know, the subtler mm -hmm. explorations, like when we say our sun stars are changing. So now it is time to start looking at what those sun stars are, what were they before, mm -hmm. and how they are changing. There will be many, many sun stars that will be getting modified in this process. So uh, mm -hmm. I think looking at the subtler explorations now, that would also be something uh, to go forward on. Yeah. So that was also something I wanted to share. Okay. But all in all, I would say uh, all the very best of wishes to you for your journey forward, the work that you are doing, the participation, both of you, best wishes. Thank you. Thank you, Didi. Thank you so much. Thank you all. Thank you so much, Shamla Didi, for this uh, detailed uh, comments regarding Usha Didi's and Nadal uh, uh, sharing. So very much encouraging for all of us. The family is uh, working, devoting their, I think, their whole time for uh, the activities of universal human values and uh, helping others also to see the proposals. We have, uh, I recollect, uh, we have a sharing from her college, uh, MBCAT, starting from the principal to the uh, to the coordinator of USP in their college, Usha Didi, then uh, the vice principal of their college, recently in the UC meeting, that was last Thursday. And the students also shared in that, that is very much uh, encouraging for all the university coordinators and university co-coordinators. So it was also being uh, spearheaded by Usha Kumari Didi. So this is worth mentioning over here, I think. The work is going on. And uh, so it's a family is a very good example for uh, all of us to move forward in this journey of university human values. Thank you so much, Usha Didi and Mandal Bhaiya for your sharing. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, Bhaiya. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.